Miss Arde. I'd like to discuss them. I'm listening. My colleagues are only interested in the physiology of the islanders and consider everything else to be superstitions. However, if we want to understand how they are transforming, we need to take a look at their culture. The potions they drink, the dyes they use, are surely the source of their physical changes. Why not talk about it with Siora? It seems to me that she would be the best one to help you. Siora is very suspicious of me. She will never betray the secrets of the Dunegarda. But I was told about a place of ritual called Kurganau, decorated with carvings and offerings. By studying them, I hope to better understand what is possibly the greatest mystery of this century. But they call it a dangerous place, and I cannot go alone. Will you accompany me? Very well. Understanding these transformations will surely be useful. Thank you, Desade. I knew I could count on you. Let's go. Carans, my mother is still held in this outpost near the Gigador. I must anything else. I must leave. According to Lady Morange's instructions, the ruins should be in this area. Look, these are the ruins we're looking for. But unless we can climb up the cliff, I do not know how we'll get there. Some of the tunnels in the mine may lead to it. We should go there. A bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! Watch out! <laughs> Grenade! <laughs> This is the entrance to the mine. We should talk to you. Good day. What can I do for you? What can you tell me about the ruins on the plateau? You aren't the first to ask me about them, but the answer is still the same. I've nothing to tell you. 
Not that I wouldn't want to, but I've never been there. There must have been a path once upon a time, but it's no longer there. Maybe it collapsed. Some say that you have to pass through the mines to get there. A few of the tunnels do climb. It's certainly possible, I would say. But those tunnels are all closed, and we have better things to do. The iron ore. It doesn't come out of the ground by itself. Do you need anything else? Tell me about the mines. It wasn't us that first dug them out. They're really old. Centuries old. But those tunnels are full of riches. It takes little effort to unearth the minerals that we want. What more could we ask for? And seeing as how there aren't that many of us, if we were pressed to mine all the tunnels, we'd be too few. But the time will come when folks hear about what we're pulling from these rocks. We won't be alone for much longer. Good day. What co Did you build this village? Not by myself, no. We did it. We have to sleep somewhere, you know. We don't have much here, and we'd sure like the place to prosper and grow. Maybe more miners will come. Then we'd start to attract all manner of merchants and craftsmen. Do you need anything else? I'm headed out. Goodbye. Greetings, my lady. How may I? Thank you. It was a pleasure. Hello. You lost. No. Why do you ask? It's just that we rarely get visitors. Well then, what can I do for you? If I'm right, this hamlet is home only to miners. Yes. It's not been all that long that we've taken up residence here. For the time being, we've only been working a part of the mine because the veins run so deep in the tunnels. Hopefully, more miners will come, and that will attract other craftsmen to our village. We'll see. Anything else? What can you tell me about the mine? It's ancient work. The natives must have dug it out a long time ago and then abandoned it. Even if it is strange work for islanders, it looks more like something we would do on a continent. We're trying to restore it. The rock is extremely rich in iron ore, but the tunnels are very old. You need to go slowly. None of us are in a humor to be buried alive. We did explore a few of them, and we're exploiting the closest. But others, nah, they're still inaccessible. Anything else? What can you tell me about the ruins that we can see up there? Uh, not a great deal. 
To my knowledge, no one's ever been able to reach them. There were some officials from the city that came, but when they saw they couldn't easily climb up to the plateau, they just left. There must have been a path that caved in. Unless some sort of tunnel in the mine takes you there. Anything else? I'll leave you to it then. Until we meet again. I can't do that. I can't do that. some mechanism or a lock the door is blocked the mechanism that controls it is complex and as would be expected it is missing a part the piece I found was it is too worn it needs
Hello. You lost. No. It's just so we really... Is there any way you know of to make the lock mechanism blocking off the old tunnels work again? How do you think I would know? If all the pieces are still in it, I would say yes. If not, it'll need repairing. Perhaps some of the parts need replacing. Hmm. I believe I remember we found an old sketch of this mechanism in the mine. Serendipitous. Let me see. This is the one. Take it. If a piece is missing or broken, you should be able to replace it easily using this sketch. Thank you very much. This certainly looks very useful. And if you don't know how to craft whatever you're missing, you can always go and see the merchant. The pieces seem to be rather standard. Perhaps he'll have what you seek. Anything else? I'll leave you to... Until we meet again. Hello. You lost. No. Why do you... Just so we... Is there any way you know... How do you think I... If all the pieces... If not, and if you... The don't... pieces seem to be rather... Anything else? If I'm... Yes. For the time. Hopeful. Anything else? I'll leave you to... Until we meet it. These are some unusual. Greetings, my lady. How may I help? I imagine that your customers are mostly miners. Yes. For this reason, I mostly sell supplies and tools. But as you can see, I have some other riches. <laughs> I'm sure this village will eventually grow larger. Who knows? Maybe this alley will become more lively. Thank you. It was a pleasure.
There, the gate is open. Finally, here we are. These are the ruins that Lady Loreen spoke to us about. I'll drown myself with the morning tide if these buildings are of native construction. Explore the area. Something may give away the identity of the architects.
This journal confirms what we suspected. A continental nation had once attempted to colonize the island with the help of the Norts, and they were repulsed. From what I was able to decipher, few of them actually managed to escape. I should have known as soon as we discovered those ruins that we were not foreign to these lands. The major part of the journal has faded, but I'm not able to make out the name of the author. Let's continue our search. We must discover which nation was here. This seal. I know the insignia, even if it has become more detailed in recent decades. It's hard to believe my eyes. What nation does it belong to? This is the ancient coat of arms of Serene. It's a congregation seal. I think the information is pointing to something. No possible doubt remains. All the clues point in the same direction. The people from the sea who built these ruins and confronted the natives. They were us. And to think we helped you. I'm having trouble dealing with this, even if it does explain a lot. We're gonna have to keep this story under lock and key. The natives are not gonna swallow it easily without a long chew. This must be the reason they kept us in the dark. Constantine is going to be furious when he learns this.
Cousin! You have returned! How did things go? You don't look well. What's happened? Nothing. Nothing terribly bad in any case. I must have eaten something that's having trouble going through me. It seems to me that this illness has been lingering too long. Who prepares your meals? Are they safe? No one is poisoning me, fair cousin. We are far from court and their customs. It's nothing. Take my word for it. Now then, what do you have to tell me? We had a talk with Lady Morange, and we explored the ruins that she suggested we visit. All our findings point to one conclusion. Those ruins were originally built by the Congregation of Merchants. The Congregation? Us? But... Father never once even hinted. Once again, he must have deemed me unworthy to know the secret. How he must despise me. Constantine. We need to learn more. I want to understand. I need to know everything my father has kept from me. This question also concerns you. You look too much like a native for that to be a coincidence. Since we cannot bombard my father with questions, others here must give us the answers we require. The congregation, even in the past, could not have made it to this island without help. We are pitiful sailors. You are thinking of us. But I assure you that I know nothing of this story. You are perhaps simply not aware, but your admiral stationed at the captainry surely is. Go and find her, cousin. Try to learn the final chapter of this story. Very well. Anything else? I'm going to leave now. Look out for yourself. Desarde, what can I do for you? I've explored many ruins on this island. Ruins that, after careful scrutiny, were built by the congregation. In one of them, we found a journal that made reference to your guild. This document, as are the buildings, date much further back than the arrival of the Bridge Alliance a decade ago. These discoveries raise a good many questions. Questions that my cousin would like you to answer. I understand. All the same, we are in a difficult situation. We are bound by the pact. I could eventually overlook these engagements if you would perform a service. Commander Fernando, who holds the port of San Mateus, has problems with certain members of Teleme. The bishop that accompanies you on occasion could without a doubt tell you more. I won't hesitate to speak to him about it. Solve these problems, and I will reconsider the validity of the pact. I will answer your questions. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. My dear child, what can I do for you? What was your role at my uncle's court? Were you already an ambassador? No, but I was part of the embassy. 
I had only just started my career as a diplomat back then. Teleme was hoping to convert the congregation, and they had sent me to spread the word. I tried to teach you some of the basics because you had a predisposition for magic. But you were so young. You preferred to run around the halls with a wooden sword in hand, chasing your cousin. I had a meeting with Admiral Cabral concerning what we found in those ruins. She said she was bound by a pact that kept her from answering questions on the subject. The Noughts are nothing more than mercenaries of the oceans. I suppose that she wants something in exchange. Effectively. She told me that her men posted at San Mateus met with some problems, and she advised me to speak to you. Does that make sense? I believe I see what the Admiral is speaking about. Or rather, who? A few of our zealous brothers are overcome by their faith. You already witnessed it for yourself at San Mateus. They look with a wary eye at all those who do not swear faith to Teleme, and refuse to express their faith openly. It is possible they have decided to target the Noughts. We will need to speak with those on Teleme lands, and of course seek out the Bishop Domitius. I will see you later, Father. Take care, my child.